Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Matt, and this is My Crazy Podcast, episode 22. I just want to remind you guys, if you like this show, make sure you subscribe and thumbs up down below. Also, comment, because we do read all of them. What's your name this week? GamerKid6521. Gotcha. BuddhaFace87. JT. And I'm Matt, for redundancy's sake. And as you can tell, Dusty is not here this week. He's unfortunately working. And a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) So we just want to get right to the topic. The main why don't we introduce like who? Yeah, yeah. Who's here? So not because I'm these, just some random guy that walked in off the street. I found no, him, yeah, I found him sleeping fine. on my parents' couch when I came in. <laughs> yeah, that's who this guy. I'm is. actually the guy that cuts his grass. And they, no, no, <laughs> you can introduce yourself. Uh, no, my name's Steve. Um, I'm JT's friend. I know Matt. I know Josh. Uh, D's friend. Just kind of filling in for him, hanging out, chilling. Facts. That was a really unnecessary. I like the homeless story better. <laughs> yeah. That's why I like. <laughs> He's homeless. You made yourself into a gardener, retcon. We're retconning bro. that story. It's, it's not retcon. his official lore on the show. <laughs> not official lore? Gotcha. We read it. So, we just want to get into the first topic because we know what a lot of people want here. Uh, Drake. His new album came out. Double album, as he likes to call it. Because he likes to do everything special lately. For I've listened to In My stuff. Feelings, and that's pretty much it. That's it? And March 14th. That, that ending is pretty fire I'm not gonna lie Wait, and the double album anyone else what, I what's your overall opinion of the album I mean in all honesty like the new shit that he put on the album is it's good I just don't like you know how we were talking earlier discussing about how you know the a lot of like some artists you know put a lot of albums a lot of songs on an album rather you know and some only put a couple you know what I mean like I just don't like hearing Music that I've heard already for like six months, four or five months straight, you know, on like a new album release. I think it's kind of just like waste of well, those room are just singles, but yeah, the throwaways yeah. on the album. That's what yeah. he's doing. Like he's always Trey has always done that though. Every Hotline art, bling, ev- every artist has done that. And yeah, I, I, yeah. I get that. It's that's why I'm not coming at Drake no, individually either. about it. It's just that's just. That's how they market their album. They make the single, yeah. they release it for like three months. I haven't listened to it. I can't really give my I've, speculation on it. I've, I've only I've, heard good things about it, though. Yeah, so I've, I've actually, what I actually I listened to the entire um, album uh, twice. Ooh, um, knowledge. Again, I love the the rap part of it. But like the, the, the B-side, which is like his, you know, where he sings and stuff. Mm, you know, it was good, but I, I'm not really into his singing thing. Yeah, that was I had the same opinion. I I like the rap side a lot. Didn't really care much for the uh, for the singing part. Yeah. It was it was it was good. Like, don't get me wrong, but it just didn't do it for me. By yeah. far, my least favorite album artwork, though. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. Drake on that. Drake on his head on the clouds in the album. That's. That's the best album cover. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Or views. I don't know. <laughs> no, honestly, I, if you're reading this too, I know it's not an album, it's a mixtape, but if you're reading this, it's too late, it's also fire. That was like too Kanye for me. That No, his first <laughs> <laughs> his first album cover was terrible. It was just the, it was just the white background, and they like did that beat effect that they always did in the late 2000s yeah, but that's over a classic, his body. It's a classic style. It's not a classic style. It's a terrible classic album. T- 2000 this is definitely a better album. Style. <laughs> But no, yeah, so I'd say like half the album I don't really mess with. But I like the Michael Jackson song because Michael Jackson is mm. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson my favorite artist for anyone who doesn't know. All right, rate it. Ten, one out of ten. I mean, it's good. I'd say like, honestly, it, I mean. I'll give you 24 songs, man. Some that, of those you that, know are new too because he's talking about like this whole Adonis shit. Yeah, I, that's so what I like. I like he owned up to to everything. You know what I'm saying? With Some the, of those songs are new. He had less songs, and he decided to add more. No, I, it, I, there's a different reason. There's a lot. I was explaining before to these guys right before you came in. So, the way a lot of artists market their uh, there's two ways, two methodologies for selling albums through streams nowadays. There's the Kanye method, which I like the most, is make six or seven songs like make them and you know honestly Ray Schremer started that their first album was like seven songs all fire so I'm giving them credit for that but you you have like a nice amount of songs that people like and will just want to stream over and over again or you do the Chris Brown method who pretty much made a famous make an album that's got 40 songs mad amount of songs on it because when you stream you just need a certain amount of so you need a certain amount of streams within the album for it to count as an album sale. It doesn't matter how many songs are within that album. So Kanye, 
if you listen to Kanye's album all the way through once, you have less streams than you do for uh, less streams that can convert to sales than Drake does because Drake has 28 songs. So theoretically, if you listen to both albums, Drake is closer to a sale than Kanye is. That's why a lot of artists are putting like a, mat, a lot of songs. Man. So I don't think it's that. I think I think he did add stuff, but I don't. Th- I think he was always gonna have a lot of songs just because streaming. He rewrote streaming. some shit. He definitely. Did. Oh yeah, no, he definitely rewrote some uh, stuff. Well, did it change your opinion about everything going on with this kid? No. No. No, he's like I'm sheltering him from the world. <laughs> I see. Here's a here's how I felt. Son, yeah, your baby mama tweeted, "Fuck Drake, he's a deadbeat ass dad." Yeah, that's kind. Of, that's kind of how the first time I listened to everything, I'm like, "Yo, you know what? He really explained some stuff." And then I was like, "He didn't he explain. Never he, came didn't back expl- he never explained." He said, "Pusha, please shut your mouth. I'm gonna make this album. We'll drop it. Well, oh, no, I ex- talk about the shit." <laughs> I think he already, he already lost push it, the push battle. We've already yeah, stated that. It's, it's, it's already done and dead. He took the album in. He took that he out. Murdered him. I think he murdered him. <laughs> and I think he was just it's trying a, to... I think he was trying I mean, to he move. has an album out. I accepted it weeks ago, but he has an album out, so... Yeah. I think he I think he, he tried to move past it as much as he can. I think he was kind of successful in that way. I don't think... I don't I think, think the beat that, hurt his sales as much as it no, could have. No, no. But it helped his sales. Yeah. No, I don't think it helped his sales. I, I think yeah, it was, sure. I think I think honestly it was kind of like almost like a low key publicity stunt. Like was, that's how it usually yeah, works. Yeah. What if they both did it? What yeah. if they both in on it? He was like, "Push T, I need you to um, diss me." <laughs> really hard. I'm a huge terribly. fan. <laughs> nah. Uh, listen, listen. Uh, you can call me Aubrey. I just need you to diss me really hard, man, because I'm a huge fan of Clips and. Uh, <laughs> How's that degrassi, man? Can, I don't really know both, how to do this. Can, can I just I, from it. ask a we'll favor? Yeah, we'll, all, we'll all get so much, so many views. I'll get views on views. <laughs> Yo, Drake is mad smart. I'm, I have no doubt in my mind that he I would love, do I, that. He would call him up and say that. I love your push your teeth sounded like Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think... No, I don't think... I really think that that was kind of blindsided him. And I did get him worried for a second, but... My, my... So, listen... In my ideal world, I want to believe that that shit is real. And so that's what I believe. I believe that it really happened. But in the back of my head, I'm always like, that all could have just been fake. Yeah. Fake uh, news. Fake, fake news. news. I'm not past it. I mean... I think it's. I think it was just petty art beef. Like, just artists being artists at each other. Yeah, I do too. I think, I think it was real beef. But I'm just saying, like... I don't know, man. He put out songs talking about it, and I'm like, damn, you must have pulled those out of thin air, because... Yeah. He definitely lost. Like, we it's could like all three th- weeks turnaround for those couple of those songs. We I mean, could all say that he lost the beef. He has bars in a lot Where's of those songs that are like talking about Adonis and shit. Uh, yeah, but according to him, he was planning on like releasing information about his son with this album, which makes me even like even more so bullshit that's that he's probably how Pusha found out about that shit too I, I think it was all through Kanye which is why he put Jay on the song which is you're still like, on that man you're still on that but I, think, I from what I've read bro we talked about this on the podcast what I read was that Jay Prince right you were talking about yeah Jay Prince Jay Prince said that it, the song would ruin Pusha's career it was never talked about Kanye I heard it was both I actually read an article where Joe Budden was talking about that. He was talking about how, uh, like, the, the, some of the songs, like, uh, what is it, uh, the Moody Rap or whatever the fuck it's called, um, was kind of taking shots at Kanye low-key. Wait, what? which one? Uh, uh, is it on the album? It's on the album. I gotta uh, look it up, but... Uh, okay. I think, I think the song where he has Jay-Z on it takes a shot at Kanye. Yeah. Like, there was a <laughs> lot of songs that they, like, he was like, he... he he was like listening to it and he goes man oh man like he, he's coming hard at Kanye in some of these which is cool but I'm just saying like bro that's what I don't get though it's like so you still not address a pusher you still this yeah, is my problem around with it. somebody is that, like, who really yo, put it to him Matt like he want to come at Kanye though and that doesn't make sense to me because Kanye didn't start this shit no, mm-hmm. no you're, you're right and but- you can say that he fed him information or whatever but like you don't know that nobody knows that facts push is the one who said it and that's who you fight in a fight. You know what I mean? Exactly. Rumors get spread behind ears, but until you say somebody says some shit to your face, that's when you fight them, right? Exactly. Like, you know? Well, no, I, yeah, no, I get that. I think, well, I think that's what my problem is with it. I, I think 
that for him to go after Kanye and spend all that energy on Kanye and it just tells me uh, man you got nothing on Pusha and you know you're gonna lose this shit and so you're just trying to divert the energy no I agree with your point which is a bitch ass move cause we all we all know people who do that in real life and that's a bitch ass move I agree with your point and I see it but I also it also could be just him playing chess like if I can't kill you I'm gonna kill the person that pay, their, writes your checks which could also be a bitch ass move but when you're trying to be when you're being a petty when you're th- all this is petty at the end of exactly. the day exactly it's just so petty that's, that's right, why it's, it's not like, even a bitch ass move it's just petty you're right it's not even a bitch ass move it's just petty the all this is petty, is petty at the end of the day so that's why I'm just like who's the pettiest this is like a petty war who can really be the pettiest because yeah no it's really a petty move that would be that's like if somebody like fucks up your order at McDonald's and you're like I'm gonna get that man fired <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling corporate I'm gonna talk to your manager you know what bro you don't deserve that minimum wage cause it's too high now bro <laughs> uh, we all know people like that dude there are people like that people, people do that right. fucking everywhere everywhere douchebags so well you didn't listen to the whole album what was your favorite song on the album 8 to 10 8 out of 10 8, eight out, out of 10, 10. I did listen to that song. That was a good song. No, that was a good I, song. I think it was... And the one with Jay-Z, of course. Yeah, uh, no. This, uh, I didn't know Jay had a feature on the album. That's... Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't... I, I just heard the song. I can't remember. It was like... Uh, it was, it's like can't... Oh, my God. Let me pull it up. It's something talk. It's not gonna, talk or can't talk. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna look it up. I got it right I'm here. listen to it on the way home. Uh, talk up. Talk up. It's got... It got... It, it's good. Jay-Z has... The last two bars are the realest thing. He said... Y'all killed X, let Zimmerman live, the streets are done. I was just like... <laughs> Can I just say something? Can I just say something? <laughs> Can I just say something? That Twitter has been saying that for a long, long time. Since yeah. X died, Twitter yeah. has been saying that, so Jay just... Yeah, but Jay doesn't have Twitter. Well, Jay's got Twitter, but Jay's not oh, on Oh, so Jay... Nobody... <laughs> No, 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 yeah, no, I get... I'm I, glad he said it, because I think it's a popular opinion, and that's why he said it, but that's, no, not, I, that's I, not his bar. No, I think... I like, <laughs> no, you're right. The, the whole thing that y'all killed X, let Zimmerman live, people have been saying that, but the fact he said the streets are done, that was more powerful, because he's pretty much saying that the street... Because the people who killed X, they put on... They're like, we got the bag, and then there's like... You even hear a dude in the back, and it's like, yo, stop being stupid. Why you put the bag on there? And he's like, I'll fuck you up, too. And then... So they're just cloud chasing. There, he's pretty much saying, "Y'all are cloud. Y'all are killing, cl- killing to get clout, but y'all aren't even no, killing that's the right why I people." Said it. I think it's great that he said it because it's important. Yeah. I just like the second. Needed to say it. Yeah, second or, bar. The second bar added that I liked, and just like the rest of it, he's talking about being independent, which you know, it's crazy. Obviously, bro. I ride with that. So yeah. I, I just feel anytime Jay releases a verse like where he's talking about that bullshit, I always feel it. I think it's impressive that he just doesn't write anything down still. Can't get over that. Do you guys believe that? I don't believe it. That's the one thing about Jay-Z. I, do. I, believe, he I believe writes. It. I believe he writes his bars, but I don't believe he does the thing off. The only album I believe he did that was the Black Album. I believe it. I believe it. Just straight off the top? Just yeah. Because that's how he says he... Yeah. I, if mean, you, the Black I think album he just was, remembers it in his head. I know a lot of people who can do that. Yeah. Hobson does that. I know how... Well, he, I, I think he might have write. I think he might write it down at one point just to like... Mechanically, uh, yeah, like yeah, mechanically yeah. remember it, you know what yeah. I mean? Like I'm, but I don't think that's the same as like he goes. I think he goes into the studio and doesn't have his shit with him. I think he just spits because he remembers all his shit. No, it could be that, or yeah. maybe he does do it like off the rip, right? And he'll just find just find bars that he likes and just keep saying that. And then find I think new everybody things jots that go things down and blah, blah, because blah, blah. and then you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So he's not yeah, you know, I, I I switched my opinion. How am I gonna say Hobson can do it and then Jay Z can't? Jay Z could definitely do it. Hobson can do it. And who else did and it? I would be more prone to believe that Hobson's lying about that because. Uh, no, I I believe definitely Hobson doesn't write down his bars and he just goes off the top. If I you listen that, to if you listen to some of his songs, you could definitely tell like. Um, all right, all right, Hobson. Whatever. There's whatever definitely you're preconceived thought there, though. That's oh yeah, no, I'm it saying. It's, it's the same thing with Jay. Or, like he's not. There's a way they're remembering it. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, they're listening to the beat. And I think just they like, might either maybe they say it in their head, maybe they say it out loud. Maybe maybe what they do, which I think is what Jay probably does, is goes in the booth, spits a couple bars, listens to it, says, eh, I'm gonna change this what I said because I don't, you know, changes it, it changes it, changes it by the fifth, sixth time. Exactly. Well, yeah, no, it's a different song. Or, That's how they do it. That's yeah. how I, I was 
That's how, because uh, I saw the behind the scenes for Which the Black is, Album. You know, I mean, it's not writing it down, but it's, there's a way, that's what I meant by the writing it down. Yeah. I meant there's a way they're remembering it. You know, that's I mean? hard, man. Practice. Consistently come off the, come off the top of your head or off like that, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I don't think Hobson's just going in and being like, oh, no, he's not. These crazy, because he does have a couple songs where I was a Hobson fan for a second. Oh, no, he's got some, he's still got some crazy songs. Like, the most recent for a second and now I'm like a, he, had, he had a feature <laughs> he had actually a, song, a feature on Jerem Ben's uh, song that just came out that was fire I'm not gonna lie it's crazy I, I kinda wanna listen to this J verse now because you know sometimes sometimes it's, Jay's still delivers and I'm like yeah it, it's just Jay <laughs> yeah. doing his bullshit but it's like I think he did a better job than on um, anybody listen to that Beyonce Jay Z album Hell I did yeah. I did I, I did I didn't like it as much I like that song Boss but I even think that I think this feature was better than that whole album yeah. you know what the problem uh, is I'm not gonna lie you know although, what though honestly, honestly I like I'm Beyonce better this. than Jay on that album although mind honestly, you I'm a bigger fan of, Beyon- of more of Beyonce, Beyonce than Jay Z I love Beyonce I love Beyonce too don't come at me and be happy I'm just saying <laughs> I mean I, I just I just like Jay's verse the one thing I did like once I found out the history of that museum and why cause a lot of times I just see Jay doing art shit like the Magna Carta uh, cover. I'm just like, oh, it's just Jay doing some art shit. Like, I don't know the history behind that, like behind that sculpture, all that shit. But then once I found the history behind that, like museum, that they're kind of like the first black artists to do anything in that museum, which is why they have like their album art there. They shot music videos there. Like, it's kind of a big deal. Like, the only black art that's there was them, were black people in slavery, enslaved. I think that's like the only depiction of black people in art in that Damn. museum. So that that I thought was more powerful than the album. So I'm I'm gonna give him credit for that, but the whole al- the actual quality of the music I wasn't know, a fan of as much. No. Next topic. Next topic. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of dead. I want to say what anyone else favorite, that their favorite death. song. I yeah. haven't listened to it enough yet, but from I'll what say in I my can, feelings. I'll for just now. say that that it's March Fourteenth was was pretty lit. In my feelings is a good like I can't wait to go to the club. The bitches are gonna go crazy. <laughs> That's yeah. that, that is the that is the song of the end of the summer. Yeah. Or all right, I hope it's gonna be out here wilding. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki, panties dropping. Dead Dead ass. Ass. You kidding no, me? What topic. panties? What's on the, oh. okay. So <laughs> next topic. Uh. Jesus and Mero had their last episode last week. R.I.P. Yo, that shit made me straight up sad, and we're Yo, gonna lose out on so many topics because we steal from this shit all the time. <laughs> hey, no, I steal from Joe Bun Podcast also. I steal from Brilliant Idiot. I steal from a lot of other places. Don't worry, yeah, we're still don't good. Don't worry, we're stealing from other places, <laughs> Jesus and Mero. But yeah, that made shit made me sad. I watched the last episode, it made me sad. Yeah, no, but I did. I don't know why. They're gonna be on Showtime. But yeah, but did it say when they're gonna be out on Showtime? I think twenty nineteen. Like, do you think they're gonna have a bottle uh, next to them on Showtime? But here's, here's yeah, like, no, they're probably gonna have like lit blunts and shit and everything. Like, they're probably gonna be smoking on camera. No, like, what? What? No, I have, no. On Showtime? Hell yeah! Is Showtime like like that? Yeah, it's, H- it's like HBO. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. like expensive ass HBO. Yeah, you gotta pay for it. But see, that's the thing. I don't even pay for cable, so I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not gonna. But pay like, for wait, what are they gonna? I'm um, confused, man. What? So they, I, got I hope I hope they put it on YouTube like John Oliver like the John Oliver show with HBO. They might have it through oh, or just like the Amazon way they do it now. Yeah, last maybe, week, too. yeah, he's always putting clips on. Yeah, yeah. Or even just the way they do it now with Vice, where they put it, the clips on YouTube. Word. I hope that Showtime does that because I, I don't I don't have cable. I don't I don't I don't have cable. I don't have cable either. Sorry, sorry guys. But there's a way you can pay for a subscription. Yeah, either I think you, I think they have like I think there's other H- ways. I got my way. And you, are, I, I, I was actually looking under their tweets and see Jesus actually. I just started following you guys on Twitter. Those guys on Twitter the other day, cause you know, motherfucker. Cause they're listening. They're listening. They know. I hope so. They're listening. <laughs> they know. No, but I just started following uh, them on Twitter because I was late to that. Uh, you know, I discovered them from the show. So, my man, somebody tweeted some shit like, I hope. Or why would you leave Viceland for HBO? Like, that shit's bullshit. Nobody's going to want to pay $15 a month to watch your show, bro. Sorry. And he, like, you know, Jesus, like, yeah. quoted it was, like, we don't want you anyway. <laughs> like, <he's laughs> like, for the, we got the real fans out here. And I, um, I was, like, scrolling through it, you know, seeing if anybody else wrote to this guy. And, uh, motherfuckers were, like, the real, <laughs> the real fans going to finesse the, uh, 
free subscription. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Facts. That's, a, oh, that's, yeah. a, that's 50s about marketing. About to make like 10 Gmails in the next <laughs> for real. couple months. That's 50s marketing scheme with stars. He's like, yo, just get it while it's on. You tur- take off the subscription when it's off. It's only on for like two months, you know. Pay for two months or whatever. Because that, that goes with the cable package. So he's just like, just pay for two months. And then after the last episode, you know. I'll let you know when the last episode's on. Just cancel the next day. <laughs> nice. He's gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he can leave you on the, on the cliffhanger for the last episode. <laughs> oh man, that's no doubt. That's, that's, that's a that's smart not fair. marketing tool. I hate it when shows do that shit. But like, yeah, I mean, like if you want to see next season, yeah, no, you, you gotta, gotta pay again. Well, that's the, that's the thing. You just pay two months every year. You don't pay every. You don't pay for the whole. That's shit still, though. There's a lot of good shows on Showtime. How does Stars not yell at him for that? like, Fifty, we're going to have to let you go. Why? Uh, Your fan base is really fickle. They (laughs) only pay for your show. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's why they actually ended up giving him a... Allegedly, they gave him a half a billion dollar deal right now. Did he say that? (laughs) No, no, no. Half a billion dollar deal. That's crazy. You got to think. Power is popular. No, well... He doesn't get half a billion. It's production budget. Hmm. He's oh. got he's got three other shows that they want to do with him right now that were still in pre production that need oh, to be so well, and that's still, not a lot of money at all, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, like and it's still got paper power and all that stuff. Oh, like, yeah. It's that's, going to every it's not going yeah, straight. He's, he's not getting Yeah, he's not he's not actually not getting paid that much at all. Yeah, no, it's it's He'll all probably going. make like ten million dollars per Wait, I mean, per how show. much does it cost to make a show? Well, he's making but a bunch of shows. It depends on how many episodes, where they're going, where they're filming. You know, yeah, no, I know, but like, you worry about that later. I wonder, like, man, how did he... The purpose of this budget is to is to create the is the production budget to create the shows. I'm not even I'm not even a big Curtis fan. Like, I can, I think he can't act. <laughs> this is my opinion. Like, <laughs> I'm wearing his headphones right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think man. that uh, I think that great artist, just terrible actor. I think he was good in Get Rich or Die Trying, but that's yeah. the movie. That's, the mo- that's based yeah. on him. Yeah, based on him. him. <laughs> he was playing himself. He's so. playing himself. Yo, that out the the soundtrack. <laughs> Everything else, I'm like, oh, it's Fifty Cent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Honestly, a lot of his early movies were were trash because, but even so, like. He produced them himself, and that was even said like that was my training. Like I got, I got investors. My training. I, he got investors to pay himself to produce movies. He made pay, put himself as a star, so he got paid essentially to be trained to star a movie. So now, right. now power comes along, and he's he's actually good as Kanan. Like he's actually a decent actor now. I'm not gonna lie. That was uh, the smartest now. move Eminem actually ever did was only do an eight mile. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if he was another shit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like Charlie the Chuck Factory. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted him to, but uh, I read his book. No, what a fucking Charlie the Chuck Factory. Oh, like, 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 where did you hear this, man? No, they wanted him to do more movies, but he's Tim not Burton's like, like so am. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mathers. You Mr. know, Mathers. they wanted him to do more movies after that, but he was on drugs and all that shit. So they're like, no. Really? Yeah. I would have been like, give him the role. No, they want the Drugged studi- up Eminem perfect. The studios yes. wanted him, but he was like, "No, I'm too busy on tour. I'm too busy making." Like he was red hot, see? ten million albums see, at the time. Still smart. My man was smart. He said, oh, "I'm gonna stick to touring, <laughs> making good money doing For this." Real, He's like, "I'm doing, I'm doing Valium. I'm doing tours. I'm, I'm doing, doing Valium and touring. <laughs> I'm making. I'm doing ten million album sales each time. Like he did not. The only good he didn't even actor slow. rapper has got to be Ice Cube, right?" Ludacris, sorry. No, Ice-T. Will Smith. Well, okay, oh yeah, well, Ice-T yeah. and Ice Cube, both Will Smith. 10 out of 10. And Will Smith. Will Smith is a... Um, you got... <laughs> Will Smith is the closest thing we have to Drake, I feel like. Drake... Drake at, is the best no, conversion to rapper. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, you're right, there's so many of them. I lied, I take it all back, I take it all back. I like, I like, uh... Oh, cool look guy. at Donald Glover. Beanie Siegel. And, uh, yeah, actually, Donald Glover <laughs> is the best. <laughs> Donald Glover probably. is the best. Oh, Donald Glover is fucking Donald incredible. Donald Glover is actually incredible. the best yeah, rapper. And Common's actually actor. a good actor, too. Yo, Common is a great actor. Cameron. Just get Cameron. Out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, Redman. Yeah. Redman. Yeah. Damn. Meth- yeah. Damn, the Wayne's they, brothers. They've all been DMX in Nas. fucking movies. Yeah. Yeah. What is good? All right, never. I take it all back. What was, what was that? Cradle to the Grave with uh, oh, Jet what? Lee. Yeah, and, and, uh, and no, and Ja Rule. Ja Rule oh, was, in, was in Cradle to Grave. Oh, he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He was one of the prisoners. He was like, he was. Who the, the fuck did they, 
Yeah, I like right hand like guy. Or I'm whatever. not gonna lie. I only know that from the soundtrack. The ho- entire soundtrack is Shady Records and G Unit like shitting on Ja Rule. How the <laughs> fuck did? Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Is that? They have ja Rule was seriously in the he's, movie. He's a lead role. The whole soundtrack wow. is shitting on Ja Rule. Yeah. There's a song literally like with Obi Trice and Eminem talking about Dude, killing talk, him. Like oh, Cradle to Grave, like with yeah, Steven Cradle- Seagal. Yes, I have part of the soundtrack on my, yeah, my title John playlist. Yeah, that's one of the main like, characters in that movie. Uh, well, they're talking about killing them literally in the soundtrack. <laughs> Eminem and Obi Trice. They, fucking, they, they shot all over Murder Inc. <laughs> yeah. All over them. Paul, they murdered Murder Inc. They were. Alright. So, I, we Cradle went way to grave. We went way oh, off topic from, from Deezus and Meryl, but R.I.P. Deezus and Meryl. We'll see, we'll see on Stars. I mean, not Showtime. Stars. Showtime. 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 Get Don't it be right. That Sorry. That's what that guy respect, tweeted. God he said it. HBO get or that, Stars. Get that subscription. Sorry. <laughs> that stars is power. Get your sub- Stars subscription show, now. Man. Get your I can't wait till 2019. Later. Then get your HBO when Game of Thrones comes on. Just switch, yes, switch get it that off. shit. Yeah. If you don't, if you do not watch Game of Thrones, I'm sorry. I can't. I, I I will judge the fuck out of you. It's gonna be hard, man. But I, I don't watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, Yo, right. Jim, you realize I don't watch Game of Thrones. I know. I judge the fuck out. of I only you. watch the episodes I saw here. <laughs> Can I just say like I need to see the entire series? I don't understand again. the hype. Bro, it is great, dude. I it don't is understand fire. the hype at all, bro. Like, it's just mad at murder, incest, and dragons. That's, that's what it. I'm saying. Like, well, not just that. It's like though, porn sto- no, but the story. <laughs> porn and beef. Minus <laughs> the dragons. It. What did we talk about last week? But then again, every time I've watched a show, I've never seen a fucking dragon. We literally talked about dragon so. dildos last week. And he didn't they got like, dragon um, Bro, I'm telling you, go. Uh, for reason shit. Like, people that's not a real dragon, though. Yo, all I got to say is that that show. It's overrated. I'm saying it now. You're overrated. Damn, we gotta have a show where I, I was thinking about it too on the way here. I'm gonna make my own podcast called Josh Hates Everything. And I'm just gonna talk about shit I don't like. This is gonna be you in a room with a mic. You're just like, yo, I fucking. And it's gonna be like, most of the stuff I'm like, yo, I never even tried this. He's but like, I yo, hate I fucking it. hate it. Yo, Star Wars Episode 6, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know why uh, they got talking, that digital. I don't know why they had that digital shit. Oh, I'll be talking about. Gears. Trust me, I got into an argument the other day with some guy about Star Wars. Mm, sure. It sure wasn't me. Nope. <laughs> but all I gotta you say definitely is definitely dig into an argument. All I gotta last say time. is that Game of Thrones is overrated. That's yeah. all I'm gonna say, Jim. I'm sorry, sorry for hurt your feelings, but I feel like it's Lord of the Rings end. stretched out more details with way more incest. I mean, there's some regular. And I don't sex understand that. Why is there so much incest? This is all I hear about this show. Oh my god, this fucking my brother. Because there was a lot of incest sister. back in like. Yeah, I mean, like, it's realistic, I guess, right? <laughs> true. Royal like, families like god. to keep it in the family. Thank yeah. God for the accuracy of fucking your sister. <laughs> <laughs> this is why white people are shooting up schools right now. Because they are the long lost relatives. Of incest babies. Oh, I agree. Yeah, you know, every couple hundred years, you're going to get a serial killer. It happens to every family, I guess. I'm dead ass serious. If you saw the Wh- shark and then jumped it. When is the last <laughs> time you, like, watched, you know what I mean, or saw some, like, thing about a serial killer who was a black guy? Um, The only one that comes to mind recently was the Washington dude, the sniper. Yeah. That, oh, was, yeah. that was a different situation. Uh, he was, like... I actually kind of feel bad no, for him. No, bro, I'm talking about a What's serial killer you? like Jeffrey no, no, wait, wait, Dahmer. Wait, 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 no. Somebody who cut somebody up and, like, put their parts in the fridge and shit. I'm mm-hmm. talking, like, that level. There are a lot of dudes like that. Y'all don't realize there's a... I didn't realize either until I watched this, like, shit. There's a lot of those motherfuckers. Yeah. Killing yeah. hundreds of people, bro. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I guess if we went to other countries, we would see the same... Never mind. I take it all back. Oh. In America, we see this because we're the long-lost relatives... Of incest babies. And wait, let me just clarify my statement. I don't, I don't feel bad for this year. It we just that, bred out all the incest. I think though. Wait, let me, let me, right? let me. No. I, I almost dig myself. In a, no. I almost put myself on a no. six foot hole. Let me just dig myself out of this real quick. <laughs> I don't feel bad for him, but the situation, from what I understand, his story. He, he his dad went left, and his dad was actually the crazy one. His it's dad in fast, Matt. It's, no, his dad yep. convinced him to Start, do all that. Starting to sound no, like no, you're no, 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 no. Stop. Let me say. So his dad convinced him to do a lot of stuff. I that doesn't defend him. I just feel like of every situation, his was a little bit fucked up. I don't feel ah. bad for him, bad for him, but it was like I don't know, man. He still pulled that trigger. Oh no, yeah. definitely. That's what I'm saying. Like He's still seven, fucked up. That's eight why eight I want to. I want to say like yeah. I, I, I want to reward it. I don't he feel was bad like, for him. He but, was like pew. Got him. Pew. 
<laughs> got him. That's why I wanted to make sure <laughs> I, 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 I stayed in right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't First feel of all, bad for him. First of all, playing real just, life Fortnite. Don't <laughs> judge him. Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> Jesus. That next is topic. crazy, bro. Next topic. Why you defended him, bro? On to the <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm the just saying, ultimate <laughs> camper. That's it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I hate campers, don't you? Facts. At, oh, least, that's how at least be... A, Listen, not for I'm, nothing, not, I'm going not way too nothing. dark and way too far. Oh. I was about to be like, at least be a, like an active shooter. You know, like, Jesus <laughs> Don't just be camping. Like, but oh, no, it's not funny, guys. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's, it's not, not funny. The funny, the, uh, it's the so, funny thing is that like I like to just sit and snipe. You know what's crazy oh, is that, God. yo, that now you're, 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 you're just, you just got don't on ever a list. Say that you again. just got on a list officially. <laughs> You're talking about video, games, video games, Jim. You I'm need to Yo, say well, that. Like, yeah. I'm just telling you, I'm if you're having games. a really bad case of Mondays, call me first so I call out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, want to be there. <laughs> oh, yeah, people. He's, this is also one of my coworkers, too, that yes. I got a job at my day is job. That, he almost, said, he almost said his job, too. Yeah. I said. Um, Yo, uh, yeah. He always uh, made sense of work for dude, me. I work at Target. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First of all. I caught myself. That's uncensored because none of us work at Target, don't worry. Target. Target. Yet. Yeah. Hire me. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, like, I don't want your job. Yo, I what was I going to say? Um, oh, oh, I wanted to clarify, guys. America is a bad place because this is how far the jokes get. <laughs> yeah. Yo, America, I think... Dude, that's the one thing. It's so bad. Like, like, you can literally... Like, you literally joke about that because, like, I feel like... I don't know. Before, it was, like, really fucked up because it's like, yo... I feel Columbine wasn't funny, bro. And now it's like, bro, this shit happens literally every couple weeks. Maybe a week. Every week. It's there so, was a point in time where it was happening like every couple days. So, that shit was crazy. So, bro. like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. Dark humor. I was reading this article about how people are like, why are millennials, why is millennials humor so, um, dark and like not it, it doesn't really have a purpose most of the time it's cause they need us motherfucking the world is falling apart <laughs> so we think anything is funny it's falling apart we're all eating ass it's crazy out here <laughs> yeah it really is we're all eating ass the world's falling apart <clears throat> and candemonium and I mean it's like with the it's, I, I yo, it's seriously like people in the f- 20s were like oh my god great depression economic times are terrible people are dying right World War One just World occurred. War One. There are people like biggest threat is the war. Then World War Two is like biggest threat is the war. Then there was no, like was well, the Nazis. A, no, there's Great Depression in between World War Two. Oh, I mixed up my timeline. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. A lot, a lot. I did whatever, bro. Was, whatever. Yeah, but you, you get the we got that. Idea. You get what I'm saying? There was these like significant things, and then there was like you know mag years of like nothing happened but it was always like nuclear threat the arms race right yeah so now we're in like I feel like in a time where it's like that on top of the Afghanistan war that never fucking ended <laughs> like bro we've been in a constant state of like the same shit they were dealing with in the fucking 20s oh yeah but like all piled on top of each other well hmm. the, I feel if you like- ever think about it, like we're we're under the threat of nuclear threat every day right still but we don't have yeah. fucking bomb shelters being built every day like they did back in the day. Motherfuckers were going crazy. They were or building like bomb in the 50s shelters with the whole duck and cover. Yeah, people yeah. were hiding shit. under desks and well, shit. Because stuff isn't as bad as it. You. Stuff isn't really as bad as it used to be. Like there are like all these countries have. They we sort of negotiate with each other, so <laughs> that we're not gonna use our nuclear weapons on each other. So and that was and that was like new technology back then. I feel. I feel. Like in, but I do feel like in general. Both just like media or politicians do True, try to like do try clearly to hype up the Kim Jong Un doesn't understand that, and the media was always hyping the shit up, man. I don't. I don't. You like, know. I. I know. I agree with that. I don't think Kim Jong Un actually. They has had a clock to nuclear. midnight. I think. I don't think like Kim, to scare people like yeah. No. This is how close we are. Yeah. I know. I agree. Which, I, but I don't think Kim Jong Un ever had. Which nukes. is all. It's all the same politics, though. You know what I'm saying? That's an opinion of mine. I don't. I don't think Kim Jong Un. <laughs> Who never ever had actual nukes there working? You still think he does? You think he doesn't? Nope. I think that's why he signed that deal because I know he d- he doesn't. So it gives him some good PR right now. Yeah, but that mm. deal is fake. Trump I, yeah. said that the deal happened, but it never really happened. Yeah, yeah he it's, said that they would keep building them uh, it's, immediately it's, after the interview or some shit. I don't. Know. I I no. I, I heard that he. I I heard that he's gonna he's gonna abide by it. But I, no, no, bro. Like they re they fucking like hours later we're like nah no. 
Well, I don't know. I I don't think he. Actually, nah. I don't think. You know, he, nah. I don't think he's got working. I think he's got working <laughs> missiles, but I don't think he's got working nukes. I think that any rational person realizes sharks what happens. with freaking laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> I think any rational person kind of realizes. I think that Kim is not in charge of his country. I think there's other people that are way smarter that realize that. Hey, if we set off a bunch they of nukes, have we are all laser dead. Beams. Yeah. For sure. We do yeah. have them, though, and we're stockpiling them just in case anybody else shoots Sharks off one. Sharks with laser beams? I can see that. I, you know? I, I do agree with <laughs> half of your point. I do think I do oh. think he's kind of... You know when we need to get really scared? When a country starts building, like, a bubble around them. Uh-huh. Like right. a protective bubble. Wait, why you, bu- why you uh, make a bubble? Uh, um, look, <laughs> yeah, well, wait, this what is, what we have, have the foundations for is probably Trump's fucking wall he wants to put up. I guess that would never work, though. No, it could work. You can make a bubble big enough. Look no, at but the like Simpsons. then, how do you the how do you like and it's keep that they're working it's in there? It's a matter of time. Did you, did like, you say Simpsons? Did you just compare Simpsons to <laughs> yeah, real like, life? Did, yeah, did, yo, the Simpsons did, said, did it, said, and it's said, probably gonna happen. He said the said, Simpsons yeah. movie did it. Simpsons the seven is put on the table. Have you guys seen the Simpsons movie? Fire! It's Fire. great. So no, Arnold Schwarzenegger is president. I'm saying that Arnold, who should I? I would love for Arnold to be president. No, I'm good on that. Yeah, no. He's Arnold. I'm good on actors being president. Yeah. Reagan was. You're not eh. gonna vote for Rock when he runs. God no. Love or Rock. Kid Rock. Love the Rock, but no. God no. I'm like Kid Rock is Kid running Rock. for president. He's, no, no, he's running way. for Senate. No, he's oh, running for Senate. Senate. Sorry, Senate. Kid Rock for Senate. Yeah, I'll let that happen. <laughs> Fuck no. Oh, and back. then that's only one. Back, that's dude. he's a Trump supporter. Is he? Oh, uh, yeah. never mind. Fuck no. Kid Rock. Hardcore. Fuck that. I thought Kid Rock was about to be like, I'm progressive. No, he's, I don't you know, know why Kid I thought Rock's that, though. Kid Rock's fucking presidential campaign play, Let America Rock Again, or some shit. Or yeah, no, no, it, it oh, is man. like that. It, I think it is something weird, like, corny like that. Let America, America Rock, rock Again. Or something. again. Make America Rock Again. He's like, again. yeah, bro, we're gonna get in from the system and beat him from the inside, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, his announcement. Man, he's still full of that teenage angst that got him famous. That's amazing. He's yep. gonna get sponsored by, like, Bush I, Beer and, like... Well, not for nothing. I kind of like Kid Rock, Marlboro. but... Now? Kid Rock, the treasure of Wait, America. <laughs> listening, this is going back to it's stealing... Catchy, it's catchy music. My bad. Sorry, going back to stealing Deezus and Mero topics, they actually did a... did a... like, a reaction to his announcement. He did it on concert, and he did, like, the most... overtly racist, like... Cover uh, like covert and racist speech ever. He's like, I'm tired. I'm tired of people saying I don't like black people, just because I'm tired of a bunch of people having kids and not supporting them. And uh, it was just like, it was okay. very weird, very coded <laughs> racism through all throughout it. Oh, that's some sugar coated racism. Yeah. yeah. He said, I took too many shots before I went out on stage. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It was only polite. Or he was off that yayo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But yeah, this is Mero did a video. Mixed with a little fentanyl because I don't you know. I have to tell you. Fentanyl. No clue what that is. <laughs> it's what's it's what Fentanyl's killed what they use little people. Oh, yeah, that's for, for heart surgeries. Mm. It's what killed little people. RIP little people. I heard some kid. Mm. Listen to this, man. I heard some kid up in Cortland. My cousin was telling me because he lives up there. Fucking one of his friends went to the hospital because of weed laced with fentanyl. And I was like, what is wrong with people? Who does this? Not what? for nothing. Fe- that's just probably expensive Who as fuck. Gets so why the some fuck? Some brown ass get- weed and is like, sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody else buys it and is like, eh. You know what it was? Had. Had. Probably the dude who prob- probably sold dope too and he had the fentanyl from the fucking, from the, from to probably put it, put it in dope or some shit like that. And then fucking. Um, Spilled it? No. He hit his elbow and said, well, maybe, well, maybe this, is, not. this is fine. This so, is fine. What, what, if, so what if he threw it on the same? What if he threw Shake the blood on the same scale that he put the fucking dope on? Uh, um, this is a possibility. I feel like you were there the way you just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, "This is what happened." He no, no, took so long for him out. He no. said he was talking. We had a whole other conversation, and then he was like, finished it with us that one little statement. That's all we needed here to be like, "Yes, you're right." Mm-hmm. Yep. No, but seriously. Uh, that would be hilarious if you like spilled it, like hit it with your elbow. <laughs> One day he's like, like, "Oh fuck!" He's like fixing up his like fucking heroin or whatever, and then all of a sudden he like knocks with his elbow, and it's like he's doing. It was like he does it for his friend's weed or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, "Hey man, just whatever you do, hold this down for me." 
Don't go do anything to my weed, man. I know how you be mixing shit. <laughs> Don't do it. I got you, bro. Knocks it. He gets in a tray, shaking it off. Kid smokes it, dies. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That escalated quick. Moral. It did. Quarterly. <laughs> I wanted it to end. That's that's the end of things, you know. Yeah. We're ending this that to next topic. Uh, yeah, no, let's talk about it. I want to talk about uh, Kickstarter because Kickstarters are very, very uh, hit or <laughs> Follow us on Kickstarter. We don't have we're, one. We're gonna put up. We're selling. Uh, you gotta think of a product. So, so I was a, <laughs> so I was a product. So I was a huge childhood fan of Butch Hartman, who made Barely Odd Parents. Danny oh, Phantom. yes. This is the has, dumbest shit I ever heard. He has told me this. just made a Kickstarter where he wants to make an online streaming service utilizing the technology of the smartphone, to quote him in this Kickstarter video. Nice. It was the most vague Kickstarter thing where he wants to make family-friendly stuff and put it on uh, put it on an app website type shit called Oaxis. Oaxis Network, and he wants to make family-friendly stuff. All that's great. He's only asking for a quarter of a million dollars. That's not even close to what you need to not do that. Not even close. Which, That's like not even like 1% of then, what you need. Then the Kickstarter perks are also kind of, uh, well, depending on who you are, they're kind of trash or not. You, like a lot of them are just like you get artwork made individually from Butch, which is actually kind of cool. But Or you're getting enrolled to his art program that he's his online art program. Who's doing this? Butch Hartman. Oh yeah, directly. So you're getting or you get enrolled. This is the guy who like came up with fairly odd parents. Yeah. So he was literally like, oh man, where the fuck is Wanda? And whatever the fuck his name is, what I need. Cosmo. Cosmo. He's trying to get a wish. He's trying to get a wish right now, bro. Well, he literally said Kickstarter. Well, yeah. Well, that's that's the thing that kind of annoys me because he's a smart guy. (laughs) The thing with the Kickstarter isn't like he even admits in this video. The reason why we haven't talked about this is because initially I was just like maybe he's just he's new to Kickstarter. He doesn't really understand it. They released a video recently, like a Q and A. I meant to put another zero. Oh my god! <laughs> no, he did a Q and A video, and oh he did like god. the vaguest answers. And I even tried to give him kind of the benefit of the doubt with that. Maybe he doesn't know how to do PR and stuff like that. But then he released a video this week where he explains the worst movie he has like production credit on, which is called Dougal. And he, exp- he explained. Never heard of it or seen it or don't, watched a trailer. Or don't don't worry about it. <laughs> Dougal. <laughs> Dougal. He, he, but he explains that story, yeah, like, how he got involved. He's executive producer on the movie, but he explains, like, how it all came about. And he explains it perfectly. So up to this point, it's like, it really shows me that he's trying to use his fans as kind of, like, a piggy bank to kick to upstart his his company, essentially. But even my problem is, even he admitted, like, this would only fund phase one. So if this can only fund phase one... What's how are you gonna get the money for phase two? Because no, no. he's already talking about like he doesn't want to get out, he wants to be outside the Hollywood system. So I'm assuming that means he doesn't want outside investors. Wait, so and I'm assuming if he's going to Kickstarter, so you're telling me Bitch Hartman over here, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I'm assuming he doesn't want to put his money in, which is why he's going to Kickstarter. So it's his like, animation, where? can I just say that, that it's not even that great? I never thought, watch, watched Fairly Odd Parents say, you know, yo, chill, I, <laughs> no, I love down. this animation style, yo. Fairly Odd Parents was, was, was okay. No, Danny Phantom was the shit, though. Danny Phantom was fire, and so was... So was I, Danny Phantom was better. Danny yeah. Phantom was way too Hot Topic edgy for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like Danny Phantom But I was Hot Topic edgy at the time. That's what yeah, we're Yeah, I know. We all were, but I didn't... <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm glad it came out right before I got into that phase where I was going like, I gotta get to Molly because he's a Danny Phantom. <laughs> I don't think that was the right thing that I said uh, I combined Pokemon with. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get to because he... Well, that's a, that's the. No, I actually, song. I think that's it. Danny Phantom. Because you gotta catch them all. You gotta catch them all. You gotta catch oh my all god! The so you think just all. ripped uh, Pokemon? Fucking <laughs> gotta catch them all. I love that you subconsciously do it. it. <laughs> you still have yeah, just drilled in your head. Yeah, he's Ash Ketchum. <laughs> <laughs> That's Danny Fetchum. Danny, yeah. Danny Fetchum. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I'm about to name all my like. If I ever when I get the new Pokemon for the Switch, I'm about to name myself Danny Fetchum. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but only catch catch ghost Pokemon. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. st- you live in Labrador. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to. Oh man. Huh. It's about to be. It's about to be great. Who would be, fuck, who'd Danny? Who would be like your little walk along one, like Gengar fire. or something like that? Oh, it's gotta be like 
I'm Pikachu. I'm 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 basic bitch. Didn't he have like a friend? Who? Did he Phantom? Yeah. He had two friends. Yeah, he had the gothic chick and the um. Oh, that's the what I'm saying. Ner- the, the nerd, nerd guy. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have the nerd guy with me or do I have the gothic chick? Which Pokemon do they represent? <laughs> Uh, nerd chick is the is the is the big breasted uh, Pokemon ghost girl chick. I don't know who Which, the one the one that they had to replace big. the color the, the one they had to change the color oh. because it looked too close <laughs> she to black face. Big breasts. I've noticed oh, that. I guess uh, no no Jinx. No. Yeah, Jinx. <laughs> oh okay. No, I, I've never noticed that she had big titties. No, 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 she didn't. But Jinx did. Jinx has. That's what I'm saying. She has some double Ds. Or something. Does she? Yeah, she did. I've yeah. never noticed you, that. You didn't notice that with Pokemon. I, I take no. it down. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! Does that mean Jinx in Pokemon is only a girl? No, I think it, I think it, it, it's got. I mean, we have Jinx is uh, a ghost. Guys, though. Jinx is a. Psychic. This is technically. Guys yeah. don't have titties. They have, we have very breasts. large abs, Teats. but not titties. We have breasts, but they're not like. Anyway, <laughs> all I gotta say is that, bitch Hartman. I better think twice. <laughs> I feel like it's well, like, no, yeah. What do you think about like, it? all his animation does? Like, oh man, do I want to immortalize myself into an uglier version cartoon of myself? Like those people, you said that somebody gets to get their character drawn into the show, mm. right? If you're like that a Patreon, a, yeah. If you, if you give ten thousand dollars, <laughs> if you give ten thousand dollars, three different ten thousand dollar tiers, and one of them is. Uh, you get to be in a live action, which I don't know how he's gonna have money to produce live action because he's spending all the money on development yeah. to, of the app. He's gonna or, record it on a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> or you could be an animated character, which I'll give him credit for. If he's doing all the, if he does it all himself, which is gonna be a lot of work on him, he could technically do it if he doesn't give himself any fucking money. But I doubt that's how it's gonna work. Or three, you could be a silent <laughs> producer where you don't have you just get your name in the credits of a no. of a of a show gotcha. for ten thousand dollars on the Kickstarter. Well, well, that's crazy. Those that's what that's I'm saying. Those nuts. animated people are like, man, how can I make myself look like the ugliest cartoon version <laughs> of myself? Huh. With big well, ass teeth. That's the thing. If I'm spending ten thousand, like I want to be like a real investor. That's the one thing I never understood about Kickstarter. Like I'll, I understand like the five dollar, fifty dollar. Yeah. Like, well, you dropping that type of money though. Yeah. You, need you gotta get something. And out of even it. like that's the only tier where like shit gets kind of real because the five thousand dollar tier you get enrolled into his online art yeah, program. Yeah, which Kickstarter was like, all right, I gave you ten k, so can I get that back now? He I see you're making money doing over there. like fucking like Twitch streams for money. <coughs> he, well, he does do Twitch streams, but he oh, does he does, he does for uh, art stuff. Like that's the, he has a YouTube channel. He's making great content on his YouTube channel. And what I'm starting to get Hi, worried Butch about... Hart, Pitch Hartman jo- draws art over here. What, what, what are you guys doing? Give me money. Here's my chicken on my... What? <laughs> Link down below. What, what, what I'm worried... Hey, guys, this is Pitch Hartman here. <laughs> Stop calling him Pitch Hartman. Put some respect ah, on his name. Fuck him. Put some respect on his nah, name. No, no, no. You already know I'm all about fuck him on this channel. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> fuck them and fuck that. So, no. Yeah. Fuck no, Pitch Hartman. What, what I think... Uh, what the fact that he's asked it for two... That is not enough money. That is like, he's like, oh, I just want to go on a cruise. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Like, well, no, like, for a really lavish like, vacation. What I'm worried, the, a cruise to the Caribbean where I will stay on my island what is that risk? I own because you gave me $225,000, you fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, the, the risks. Get friendly, bitch. The, risk, the risks on the Kickstarter are if we don't get it as he tries to make it very PR as with any subscription service if it, it all comes down to getting subscribers mm-hmm. but I know our 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 kickstarters are loyal as ever so he's essentially hoping that the people who kickstart it are also going to subscribe so they not only are you paying to get the thing developed he's hoping that you'll come back then and then be an initial subscriber to keep it going so it really makes it, one or two things are either going to happen He's either he's either got the money. He's gonna either try to like really stretch the budget super thin, and have three months of premium content on an app that will work. And he's gonna hope that subscribers come in, and then he can make like season two of everything. Or he's just gonna put the money into making the app, and he's just gonna put all of his YouTube content that he's already making on there. And then as the subscribers come in, he's gonna uh, he's gonna. Make the content more premium. Isn't there like he a said, worry I want to get YouTube out of my hair. Putting so. your your like old content that's say on YouTube on like something that you have to pay for to see when you've already seen on YouTube for free. Well, there are services like there's there's websites that do it. Like Rooster Teeth has their first program. Defer- yeah, dude, that was Nelk guys I was talking about. They got all their shit taken down, so they started their own website. Uh, like you you subscribe uh, to. Yeah, you could. I, I, don't I said fuck all that because I'm not paying f- fucking. 
I think it's like two dollars a month, but I'm still not paying. Nah. That. Well, yeah, Damn. no. So it's, some people don't. I have, but I don't mind companies doing that. Like Rooster Teeth does it. If you, <clears throat> but my issue is like, his plan is all right. I want my fans to fund me making this, and then hopefully they'll also. Because honestly, if I were gonna kickstart a subscription service like that, because I, I'm not. I don't think it, it's any secret that I've considered doing something like that with my crazy productions. But I haven't considered kickstarting it because it's you like. You should. I haven't considered Kickstarter because like, people give lots of money away. Mm. Yeah. My issue is like, how am I going to say, hey, can you give me the money to make this and then also subscribe to it so then it can actually keep going? He's like putting all his eggs in one basket. Yeah, I like, I I prefer to put my money in first, get it developed, and then hopefully people subscribe to it and all that stuff. Let's get a Kickstarter to, uh, I feel it's like, well, I'd give them good if I'd give them good tiers. Like, if people who kickstart ten thousand, I'd be like free subscription for life. Yeah. Let's kickstart ah. another kickstart type website. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but thing is, we're not a bank. We don't have. I feel like no, no, no. Like no, go no, on no. Kickstarter and we'll be like, kickstart a Kickstarter website. Be like, oh, uh, are, ty- are you guys tired of using Kickstarter? We'll fund this Kickstarter so we can get Upstarter going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll be a new. It'll oh be a new. Oh my god. Yeah, it'll be called Upstarter. That's a great Upstarter. name. We already got it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Here's my only thing with Definitely uh, get our asses sued. <laughs> For real. <laughs> nah, it's only. Nah, yeah. With, we're uh, and then start a campaign to help us with our legal fees on yes. Upstarter. There you go. Start go, right go now. Fund me. <laughs> go fund me the legal fees. <laughs> There's so just jumping through all the loopholes. Yeah, everything. Real quick, no, like the. Uh, I feel like someone just told him about this. Like he probably was Damn. like, you know what? I I, I really want to raise some money, but I really don't want to like do it. Well, there's Kickstarter. Go, why don't you go try that? It's like it's like telling your grandpa like to go reset the fucking internet in the house. Like he, he I feel like he kind of knows what to do, or he's not executing it well. But like, I don't know, man. Well, that, my problem is when he explained Dougal, he Dougal like, uh, the movie. So yeah, what happened with Dougal was fuck is Dougal? Harvey, Harvey Weinstein invited him to a hotel room pause. where he raped him. <laughs> and then pause. Oh, well, no. So he wow. said, "That's right, bitch Hartman." He's like box. He goes. said, "That's that's right, <laughs> oh you bitch Hartman. You like this? <laughs> Calm down. So, so you really for, are." For people who don't know, the way, main way Harvey Weinstein made money in the movie industry was raping the people. <laughs> That was second way. Oh, <laughs> shit. Damn. The main way, he actually just bought distribu- distribution rights for movies. So he didn't actually produce a lot of movies. He just bought distribution rights. So this was... Dougal was based on, like, another st- show called, like, The Adventure of Something down in, over in the UK. Fuck Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, he bought, he bought it. He was just like, hey, Butch, I need you to rewrite the script because it's terrible. Butch was like, I hate the script. I hate the movie. And then he's like, so do I. But... I want you to rewrite the script and he's like doing Hollywood he's like you know what and Harvey Weinstein's asking you to do something he's just like yeah you know I'm gonna do it so he explained that situation very well so it tells me like he's very capable at explaining bad PR to his fans okay <laughs> and the, the problem is like this time like it's obvious that he's trying to like kind of be shady with this like he's not giving all the information away or he just doesn't have all the information he's just trying to go he's just trying to like fake it till you make it type yeah deal. trying to go or just like try to go off the the wing of his I don't know what's the phrase the wing off his seat or whatever uh, like, no fly, seat by, his, by, the, by, fly the, by the seat of your pants fly yes. by the seat of your pants and he, I don't I don't think he what realizes what does that mean I don't know but I don't think he realizes like fans let's go <laughs> fans it's are strapped like, in a fly motherfucker <laughs> I think he's gonna learn if this fails like fans aren't very forgiving investors not at all buy our new coke distributor it's a small it's, it's an orbital inhaler by the way they sell these right at CVS and a whole bunch of stores and gas stations and stuff and you can fill them with coke and it, oh, great way to get into great way to get into a rave and fentanyl, <laughs> and I, don't fentanyl. I don't think that would work like that there's holes all at the bottom of it so. So it just gives the suction. Listen, little fentanyl never hurt they nobody. They would fall, all fall out. <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm just imagining so that it would all fall out of the holes. So I'm just glad we got a disclaimer. You know, it's like it seems like it's pretty fine stuff. Fentanyl I would assume Cheerios. it's like putting like flour in one of these things. Flour. I'm trying to keep think that it's gonna stay, you know, in there. All right, next topic. <laughs> yeah, or sure. Is there any more? Is there is more topics. I got another. Tra- so I. I have a topic. Like no, I want to, porn. Oh, something similar. So I want to talk about oh like boy. accidental snaps. That you, that, so I had a situation this morning. He week. accidentally just not a dick thing to somebody. No, I almost I almost had a, a weird a weird snap to Jim this week. 
to that's this why gym? I, yeah this gym. Me, my man was yeah, jerking yeah, off like to Snapchat <laughs> stories and accidentally hit the reply. Ah uh, no. So you immediately got a text. Don't let me just go over really, that Do I really want to hear this story, Matt? Oh yeah, no, it's hilarious. Oh god. So it's not that bad. Lord. It's not that bad. So a couple <laughs> nights ago, I, I fell asleep at like one, and I wake up at like three thirty or whatever, and I guess I see two snaps. One from a girl, hey. and the one from Jim, hey. and uh, from like an hour before. So I, did, I decided to watch both of them. Yours was just you doing karaoke oh, to yeah. like heavy metal stuff, and then her was just like a picture of her with like a filter on, looking cute. So I'm like half asleep, and then all of a sudden I'm, I just double tap one, and I'm just like, because I, I just watch both of them, and I'm just, I reply, I'm like... Why are you so cute though? And I send it, and I, and I immediately, and I immediately, would have been then, like, I immediately go back to sleep, and then like five minutes later, I just wake up and I'm like, did I just send that to Jim? Because <laughs> Jim's just like rocking out heavy metal, like doing screamo shit, and so then I'm just like, why are you so cute? Like half oh asleep, my God. trying to do the smoky eyes thing. Dude, okay. I was so hammered too when I was at that karaoke night. I was, oh I was doing one of my things. I don't, I die, I die. You know, like on the mic and shit. And I was like, fuck it, I'm a Snapchat. <laughs> and, and imagine getting a snap back from me. Uh, like thank this. God they have that new feature with the whole, with the delete, right? Uh, no. no. You didn't what? know that? You can delete a snap you've sent? Yeah. I feel like Holy still getting Holy shit. Yeah. Holy yeah. really shit. Do you want me to show you how to do it? No, I mean, I don't update my phone ever, so. Yeah, he's, got the, he's still got the old All Snapchat. All you have to do is just do But I still don't have some of the emojis. And, like, that. I think that's why my phone is fucked up, but it's to the point where... It won't let me update because it says my phone is like I don't dude. There's something it's wrong. It's not with compatible. It deleted with it all my contacts the other day. Then I got it back, so I have nobody from uh, Canadian Do you have that my contacts? That sucks. Yeah, I have your guys' because it was from a 2014, so I must have met you guys by then. Yeah, that's why. Oh, I went, that's why I went, that's so that, when, I went back when did it happen last? Did it happen last Friday? Yeah. Really? I think so. That's why, because randomly you're, you're you you. Not to be weird, Josh shared his location with me. Find my friends randomly, like last Friday, it just like turned off. Oh, so that probably was why. Yeah, that shit. That yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh, maybe that's why it's fucked up. Yeah, no, like you gotta check my find my friends. It was just damn. It was, my phone has had the sound on the whole time. So you're, you're lucky. As fuck. But yo, <laughs> uh, but yo, so what was, <laughs> lonely as fuck. This but no, fucking. back to the topic. So I literally woke up like though three times because I I had to keep making sure like no. I kept was delirious thinking like no I I, re- I misread it I didn't accidentally said I still accidentally sent it to Jim or like I dreamt that I woke up again to check like bro I checked like three times to make sure like no make sure I didn't send Let it to Jim. Well, that was, was from like two days ago. Yeah, no, you didn't send bro. it to me. I didn't send it to you. Okay, I'm I made so sure I triple checked. Salty, bro. You sure now? I triple, I triple checked. But what, that brings me back to the topic. What is the weirdest accidental snap that you've sent? Oh God, that I've sent. Uh, yeah. I've wrong definitely person. sent a dick pic to the wrong person before. Oh, oh, that's, Jesus Christ, dude! And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, that's a that's a mistake and a half. Who'd you send it to? Um, no. <laughs> Name drop, so I have to sense for more. <laughs> no, no, there's no. We're good. I'll turn my location back on. You think it'll help things? See, like who, I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll particularly. Who help is things. this that is home right now that I follow? I'll find my friends, but I don't have their number anymore. They're at your home. Oh, it's Michaela. Shout out. Ah, shit. Do I have to sense that? No, I don't think so. Alright. But yeah, no. So, um, next topic. <laughs> I guess because like no one's got any weird accent. You just got a dick pic to a random person, which I kind of expected from you. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> mine isn't anything as good. Like, I mean, like, do you mind saying, you? Like, this was like a long time. You know, this is when I was wild and not, you know, that's, I, no, domesticated. I, I understand. Dude, when I first met I you, mean, you were, I was, you know, yeah. I'm, you when guys I, have seen. When you I first, have seen me. In, oh, don't finish that sentence before you say where I've seen you. Oh, we're yeah. talking about dick pics. Right. No, um, <laughs> I, 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 I kind of, we were, we were doing a music video shoot down in Miami, and one night for the party scene, they they weren't 21 at the time, so they couldn't go into the club. Oh, wait, 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 we, we said, we, oh, fuck. 
We said we were going to wait till we got a million subscribers before we told this story. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell right, the story. No, Don't tell I'm, the story. I'm going to wait on that. Just know it's y'all coming. Y'all can suck that, bro. It's coming. Damn. Y'all can put two and two together if, you, if y'all if you watch all the podcasts, but y'all won't have the full story. I got to pee, guys. Yeah, you got to pee? Yeah. So. Let me out of here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start the next topic while you go pee. Cause What's the next topic? Next topic is just 4th of July stories because 4th of July happened. Oh, okay. I'll tell mine. <laughs> we set up fireworks. Um, we can we can, we can get these stories out in time. Just hold 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 the phone there, Yash. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fourth of July stories. Come on, we all didn't do anything that exciting, right? Dude, honestly, I didn't. But the, I went to. Um, I think your guy's broken over here, buddy. Yeah, it is. So just just do your best with it. Okay. Yeah. So what happened was, um, I went to a, a family friend's party. I wasn't done. Oh. I set off fireworks <laughs> and I grilled food and I drank some beers. Well, wow. swam a little bit too. Supposed to go to the fucking water park, but my friend drank seven IPAs and then probably four or five glasses of wine, oh. red wine. Oh, full, he was hammered. Night, full night. to the top. I'm like, what are you doing? You're going to destroy yourself tomorrow. And then he was yelling at me like, you're not going to wake up, man. You're, you're going to be too drunk. You're not going to wake up. And I'm like, I'm fine, bro. You just chugged... So five much, glasses so of wine much, like so just wait alcohol. and he woke up the next morning I called him and I, all he said was uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I was like yo he's like uh. I'm like yo yo and he finally was like oh, oh are we going I don't want to go anymore <laughs> like, <laughs> damn he was like dead yeah. dead so it's the worst hangover he's ever had I'm like I've had like one well we went to uh, we went to round one you know two dollar glasses of wine so I'm like uh, that shit you're supposed to cook with I would not drink round one wine yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to cook with that shit that's yeah like, you're not supposed to drink that's like that. worse that's, than box wine that's yeah. the shit that you get in like shop right at great. For, for like Marsala great chicken fingers though not gonna lie round one <laughs> oh no man what dude last time I went there their chicken fingers were fugazi they were all fugazi? bread fugazi no chicken it might have been a bad day but I, when I went there fire he's like don't don't, hold, don't knock it bro. I mean, don't knock it Josh, I, 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 I you you are a chicken nugget connoisseur I don't know chicken fingers what do you feel how do you feel about um, Tyson like, popcorn chicken shit uh I mean I gave it a big two fucking thumbs down the other day actually no wait it wasn't Tyson it was some other shit I never remember Tyson's alright Tyson's pretty right, good Fourth of July before, right. before, right. before we go off topic because you're the one that got, has to go yeah. beat Fourth of July best, uh, best best one I had was uh, one of the guys I was I was at his house and he was shooting off fireworks and his like friend was like really drunk so he tried to put it in and it, and the the Roman candle just ended up falling over and it shot into the crowd. So uh, it was just like Fallujah. It was just shit blowing up nice. everywhere. And it was pretty funny, but no one got hurt. But yeah, no, it was pretty funny. You know, it's a similar story. I was at my uh, family, a family friend's. Fa- best story was a family friend's uh, uh, Steve and Brenda's house. Steve, little fireworks. It went up 90 degrees out, 90 degrees down. <laughs> 90 degrees back broke the window to the garage which is below under the house and blew up in the house and then he just turns around looks at me and my brother I'm like 7 years old don't tell Brenda and then <laughs> right after I was like you just hear her scream from the kitchen Steve <laughs> cause like you just hear a blow something blow up in the house like and, 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 and glass shattered cause it breaks a window of course you hear it but no this this 4th of July was wild I, I went to Bear Mountain to another family friend's house for couple hours that I went back to finish Broke Film School. Broke Film School comes in. And, uh, dude, there was a major storm. Like, there was me oh, yeah. and 20 cars on the side of the road hazards on because we just couldn't drive. We couldn't see. Yeah. Mm. I was stuck for, like, 20 minutes. I was stuck there for me. Yeah. You, I was in a pool when you that told storm me you came. drank too much tequila, Steve. Oh, I drank way I too much driving. tequila. I, I on the other hand, well, this past 4th of July was great, actually. Um, my my parents and my girl's parents met for the first time, and they got along great. Had a That's great good. time. I drank a shit ton of Jim, are you Hawaiians <laughs> and uh, this other watermelon concoction that was fucking fantastic. And you know me how I love the barbecue and shit like that, right? So I like the barbecue. Yeah, you know, uh, oh, my, fourth my girl's uh, stepfather's got this thing called a Traeger smoker. It's an electric fucking smoker, and it uses pellets, Jesus. like applewood pellets, to for the smoking shit. Oh, yeah. Bro, that shit's bad bitch over there. I'm gonna buy one, and they have one that's mounts on a trailer. It's like seven grand, but I really want it. You should just buy it. Fuck it. Spend seven grand on a grill. Well, 
I mean, I can make one at oil, like a big oil drum and all well, that stuff. Well, if you can make it, then you can buy it. But I you can make anything for hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Mm. Hundred bucks too. You can do anything for hundred bucks. That's Jim's show. Well, mine, not mine is everything. Josh hates Let's everything. Jim is right Jim now. builds everything. <laughs> mine is my crazy everything. <laughs> Jim's like Jim builds everything. He's like today, we're building a computer, minus the mouse, the keyboard, <laughs> the screen. You, you don't build the mouse keyboard. <laughs> the screen, minus all of the stuff that makes it work. We're pretty much just making paper, <laughs> <laughs> drawing on it. Mine's mine would be garden adventures. I just go around cutting people's gardens. That's facts. So. Well, it's gotta Wait, be what? Steve loves Is that gardening. Like- It'll be on it's, HG, it's a, HGTV. <laughs> <laughs> we go, Steve, you know, should be called In Steve's Garden. In Steve's Garden. HGTV, TLC, those He's are like, two under, underrated networks. And it's got a Welcome to my garden. Audiences. Yeah, we could, we could get Today those. we're going to plant some daisies. Steve's like, welcome to my garden. I will show people how to plant Today I'm planting plants. tomatoes. Yes. I think, Sno- I think Snoop should have a show planting weed in those on HGTV. Yo, Imagine. he would totally have Martha Stewart as All like... All right, I'm leaving. You're leaving? All right, no, let's end the podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just bullshit now. All right. I'm Matt. This is my crazy podcast, episode 22. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, comment down below. Who are you? Who, Who are you? ate my Kiwi Fuzz? That's my Fortnite at. Y'all, y'all, holler at me. I just started playing. I'm going to beat your ass, though. Gang, gang. D.O.G. has been at Gardner. JT. I'm Matt for Dynasty's sake. We'll see you next week. Early. Semantic.